Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and today Apple released watchOS 11.3 to the public. watchOS 11.3 is available around the world at the same time for everyone, as long as you have a watchOS 11 supported device. And this particular update came in at a fairly small 192 megabytes that's on my Apple watch ultra two. And this was released alongside many other updates, iOS 18.3, iPad OS 18.3 updates for Mac TV OS, home pod OS and vision OS. So those are all available now. And this particular update does bring some new features and changes, but first let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and talk about what's new. So on the watch, we'll go into our settings here and within settings, if we go down to general and then go to about, you can see the latest build number of 22S555. This update does contain new features and changes. So the first thing actually has to do with watch faces, just like they do every year at this time of the year, they introduced a new watch face for black unity. We can see that under the face gallery where we have unity rhythm and it says this black unity face is inspired by the rhythm of humanity. When you raise your wrist, the pan African colors flow across the screen to reveal the hour. The hour number is dynamic and animates every time you tap the display available with and without hourly chimes. This face can be customized with different color options and up to two corner complications. So you can see it here. Let's go ahead and add it to my watch and you'll see it shows up here. So here's what it looks like. It does move around as I tilt the watch around. And if I turn it back on, you'll see here as I scroll through, it doesn't look too different. I just wanted to see what it has. And then if we press and hold, we have a couple options Go into edit. We can change the color of it. You'll see some different options here from gold to green, to red, to cream, and then to black. So you can switch it to whatever you'd like or add some complications in the corners. So if you want the temperature in one, and then in the other, maybe music. And then we go back. You can see, we can have those complications here. So it's really nice looking and it's available now. If you have this on your watch and you have iOS 18.3 as well, there's also updates to notifications this time around. If you have a device that supports Apple intelligence, you can actually see some of the summaries here. So with iOS 18.3, they changed some of the notification summary options. And if we go into the watch, we can see those here. So if we go to notifications, it says show summary when locked Apple watch can show a notification summary or a short look when it's locked. This typically has the app icon name and a brief headline. We also have the option to tap to show full notification. If we turn that on, we'll see the full notification. So if we go to the watch, maybe scroll up. I don't really have any going on right now. We'll scroll down. You'll see it's not a whole lot going on other than a couple things with Mac rumors, maybe some others in my telegram channel and more. So not a whole lot there, but it is an option to show here. Now, if you want to see that there's also an update, if we go into an app here, so if we go into our settings, go to calculator, it's now consistent across all devices. So on the iPhone this time around, they actually added, if you maybe do some multiplication here, nine times five tap equals continue to tap equals. It will continue to multiply. So you can do that across anything, but before they took this out with iOS 18 and now they've brought it back. So it was there before they've just brought it back this time. Now, many have asked what watch face I typically use. I wanted to share that briefly, and then we'll talk about security updates, bug fixes, battery, and more. So on the unity rhythm, watch face. If we tap it, you'll see it moves, press and hold. We'll switch over here. And I typically use modular. If we go to edit, you can see the complications I use with starting from the top, right? We have the date. Of course, the time is there. Then we have Lumi in the middle, which is actually showing golden hour or some of the best times to take photo and video. You have other options as well, but this is a paid app and it actually was in the app of the year listing this year. So something that I've used for a long time, then we have music, we have compass and then the weather and messages. So it's just a nice sort of overall look in modular. So if you want to check that out, it's available there. Now, as far as security updates, well, there's quite a few in this update. If we go to Apple's security website, once it's refreshed, scroll down, you can see the latest updates with iOS 18.3, iPad OS 17.7.4, Mac OS and more, but watch OS 11.3 is what we want. There's quite a few updates about 20 or so for most devices. So you'll see everything here. If we scroll back to the top, it's alphabetical. So we have airplay, a few different fixes there, core audio, core media 
got things such as the kernel or the underlying code of the OS, WebKit that's underlying Safari typically, core media playback, passwords, and more. So you can read these by going into them. Let's take a look at maybe this one up here with AirPlay. The impact was a remote attacker may cause an unexpected application termination or arbitrary code execution. The description or how they fixed it was a type confusion issue was addressed with improved checks. And then they have the CVE number and who gave them the tip on this. So this is something that's available now. And if you're wondering if you should install watchOS 11.3, well, these security updates are definitely worth installing. This fixes a lot of issues, patches a lot of that vulnerability, and it's available now. Now, as far as bug fixes, it looks like it fixed the issue people were having with screenshots showing up properly. Now, prior to this, they supposedly fixed it, but if we go in and maybe take a screenshot here, just press both buttons, go into photos, it should show up pretty quickly. Now it's going to depend on your device, but you'll see here, we'll give it a second and there it goes. It showed up right away. There's still some odd issues from time to time with the photos app itself, but it seems to show up quickly. It's also supposedly fixed issues with charging notifications once it's charged. It should now notify your iPhone properly. As far as additional notes, well, Apple hasn't said a lot, but let's take a look at their public facing release notes. And you'll see here as we scroll down, they've listed watchOS 11.3 at the bottom under release notes you'll see that we have one thing that they've fixed. They've resolved an issue with HealthKit, where HealthKit authorizations granted by the user for a data type may not or might not persist, resulting in the app being unable to access data and potentially prompting the user again for authorization. So it looks like they've resolved that issue. They haven't mentioned anything else as far as that goes. When it comes to overall battery and battery health, well, I've been using this. I used this a lot when I was at Samsung Unpacked at CES, and it was on the prior version, but I really had no issues with battery. I'm at 100% as it was previously on the charger, but if we go down to settings here, we'll scroll down, we'll go to settings, then we'll go to battery, and under battery, We'll go into battery health here as we scroll down and battery health typically stays pretty high on these devices for a long time. I'm at 100% capacity. And the last time I checked the Apple watch ultra one, it was also at 100% capacity. So it may have gone down a little bit, but all batteries degrade over time. As far as the overall battery life, well, typically at the end of the day, even walking 20,000 steps, doing things pretty simply, using it for notifications and more, I had over 60% of my battery life left with the previous update. It will take some time to know if the battery has changed at all, if it's improved or just stayed the same. But we'll talk about that in the weekend follow-up. When it comes to performance, it seems to be about the same, going into things such as Shazam. You'll see that's the first time I've opened it here. It loads pretty quickly. If we go into things such as music, it opens up nice and quickly and most things seem to be pretty fast. So overall seems to be pretty good. No real issues here. You'll see it's loading weather. Weather is always a challenge. Sometimes there it goes. It took a second to load that, but I hadn't opened it in a while. You'll see temperature and it is showing. So if you haven't opened it in a while, it should load about what it was before as far as the overall speed. As far as future updates, we do expect watchOS 11.4 to release in beta form, at least probably within this week. So we could see watchOS 11.4 beta one, maybe with some additional features that go along with Apple intelligence on the iPhone, but we don't know specifically. So we'll have to wait and see what they have there, but it looks like this isn't going to be a big update. Maybe with watchOS 12, we'll get some bigger updates this coming year at WWDC, which is just a few months away, typically in June. So we're waiting for that maybe around June, 9th or so, we'll have an announcement before that though. As far as new features or anything else, that's everything in this latest update, mostly a security update with a few new features and bug fixes. If you've noticed or found anything else, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.